Hello everyone, I'm Angelo. Been homeless in Los Angeles for like a week and a half. Homeless in Northern Virginia before that for six months. Planet Fitness out here just told me I hit my 10 visit a month limit for their gym, like four or five of which was today because I literally just went in and out to go to the bathroom while I was doing work in my car on my phone, sending emails, uh, making and answering phone calls which I can't do in the library, obviously. Now, Planet Fitness never told me about this, that this was a issue. Now I have to go to different Planet Fitnesses, which they are around here. Well, what the hell is up with that Planet Fitness? I'm paying my $20 a month. Before I used, in Virginia, I went to the same gyms all the time. Now, if you have issues with homeless around here, Start lobbying on behalf of the homeless. Start making your voice heard about the fact that LA gives tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars in tax breaks and giveaways to real estate companies and to landlords to build high income housing, evict low income tenants to make that high income housing and keep uh, laws from being enacted that will protect tenants around here. Because people like me who are homeless use this gym to shower to shave, to brush our teeth, to floss, to get dressed. I'm going to Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight. That's why I'm dressed nice. I know I look kind of silly overdone, but they say you gotta wear kind of long sleeve shirts and keep it kind of business looking. No light, sh no dark shirts, I mean, so whatever. I figure, hey, this is a bright looking shirt. Uh, you already, all, everybody knows what I think about this. The idea of basically making poor people's lives more difficult. This is a place where I see lots of people brushing their teeth, shaving, using the bathrooms too. Uh, if you don't like it, Planet Fitness, you have options. Make your voice heard. Get on the phone, make a video with me talking about what LA should do about the homeless population, homeless population here and the housing situation so we don't have constantly rising rents and people who need two or three jobs and to commute even farther to get to their home or who are evicted and have to move to even poorer and poorer neighborhoods while rich people keep making money on investments and their houses. Their value, their home values go, go up, but people who can't afford, you know, a double uh, rent increase, a, a triple rent increase, they have to live in their cars after that or on the street. Why don't we deal with that? Why don't we stop um, the uh, police sending, uh, going sweeping up homeless camps and instead actually get people working on homeless uh, people's cases to get them into housing. There are so many good people around here, so many people who are deserving of help, and Planet Fitness says, I can't go to this, again, it was like four or five visits today and yesterday, we're just going in and out to use the bathroom, too. So Planet Fitness, what do you have to say about this? Do you? want to take advantage of this opportunity to be a voice uh, for people who need help around here. And by the way, you'd be beloved for it. You, you ki are you kidding yourself? You think people wouldn't absolutely love uh, you doing that? I know you allow homeless people in on days when it's like, you know, uh, snowed in outside and, um, uh, you know, like a lot of businesses are closed, even though it, where I lived in Virginia, Planet Fitness would close too when it snowed. Or do you want to be a part of the voice that says homeless people should not be seen, they should not be around, they can go find somewhere else to be. We're willing to make them homeless, we're just not willing to do anything about it afterwards. Tell Planet Fitness what you think, tweet at them. I'm going to include their Twitter in the description, send them messages, be polite, but explain the situation. I gotta go. Bye.